You've been hearing a lot about the federal deficit lately. And a lot about cutting spending on programs like federally funded science and engineering research. Federal spending on R&D accounts for less than 5% of the budget. While innovation accounts for over 60% of economic growth. That's an investment we can't afford to lose. But if congressional leaders can't reach a deal by November 23rd, massive spending cuts will slash federally funded R&D, crippling long-term science and engineering for the next 10 years. For over 50 years, the United States' strong investment in science and engineering has brought us technologies like lasers, cellular telephones, the internet, GPS, integrated circuits, and genomics. Technologies that have created millions of American jobs and vastly improved the quality of life. This investment has kept America at the top of the global economy. That is why China has increased its investment in R&D by over 150% since 1997. Without a strong federal commitment to science and engineering, our technology and our economy will be left in the dust. Science and engineering research gives something else to the American economy. You. American scientists and engineers are in high demand. In fact, employment among scientists and engineers holding doctorates is over 98%. Even among those who have had a doctorate for only two years or less, that's because science and engineering graduates are trained to develop independent strategies, challenge ideology, communicate, collaborate, and work hard. You represent a unique investment in a modern American workforce, adaptable, experienced, and ready to innovate. I'm studying how ultraviolet light damages the proteins in the lens of your eye, uh, how cataract happens. <laughs> We're creating an inorganic molecule to harness the power of electron transfer as an alternative to solar power. I work on the dynamics and control of a four-legged running robot. I study what sets the size of a hurricane, which is critical in determining how much damage it causes. I work on DNA and chromatin regulation to understand how the cells in our body differentiate and specialize into other types of cells. I'm learning about how we can use light to detonate explosives in roadside bombs before they can cause harm. I make machines out of DNA. I work with the research lab of electronics on using the human body to power possible medical monitoring applications for soldiers and patients. Our country is facing serious challenges, but science and engineering can be part of the solution. You can be part of the solution. I know you're busy. I know you've got papers to grade, manuscripts to write, experiments to run, and an advisor looking over your shoulder. But we need your help, and time is short. Please take a few minutes go to www.standwithscience.org and read the letter. Sign your name and add your voice before it's too late.